Bridges are one of the most popular go-to spots for a mangrove jack if you're chasing them with lures or live bait, I suppose. And I just wanted to share with you how I'll pick a bridge apart. And these are the two lures that I'll generally go for. So the bottom one's a Tiemco Samari. The top one's one of those Kato 100F minnows that you can get from BCF. They're cheap as chips, and that's one of the reasons why I'll use them around uh, bridges, because you're going to lose a lot of lures doing this. And the bottom one, I just really love that aggressive action. The cadence that it's got is fantastic, and it suspends really, really well. So the jacks love both of these. Let me show you how I'll use them. So the way that you approach a bridge, I think, is fairly important at least in increasing your chances to be able to get that first strike. Being able to get a jack out, sometimes it's out of your control, just because they're so powerful, obviously. But uh, my approach, I'm fairly stealthy usually. I'm with the tide here, so it's running this way. And so my lure retrieve is going to be with the tide, like a natural bait movement would be. And I'll sit off the uh, pylons, and generally my first casts are right up past the end one and just bring it back along the side. Usually a fairly consistent retrieve like this. Just looking for a reaction strike. And then if nothing happens in the first one or two, if I've got this Samari on, I'll be really twitchy with it and stall heaps. And then go to the other side and then try the other side of the bridge. So the other pylons. Another good cast is right up into the shallows, if you can see that, and just bring it down the batter of the, of the rocks. Again, lots of twitches and stalls. And that movement of the lure will just throw out a heap of light. It refracts light, these gold lures. Oh, I love the way they do that. So once I've done that, I'll head up fairly quietly into the middle of the bridge. and just park up and start casting, little flick casts in between and stalling when you get in between the pylons. Lots of stalls and if there's a shadow line, that's a really good point where the, sh where the shadow's cast under the bridge. You know about jacks, they're really light sensitive, so they love those shadows and the shadow lines, a lot of the time they'll sit on them. And so I'll just cast repeatedly in between these pylons, then try this side. And my favourite spots in bridges are around the ends. And usually if you've ever seen the, the sand and the way that the tide and the turbulence around the end pylons works, there's usually big holes at the end points. And a lot of the time that's where the jacks will sit. So sometimes you can go for like a diagonal cast around the first pylon and bring it down really close. And then if you hook something, this is personal preference, but for me, if I hook something, if I feel any resistance, like it's got me back around the pylon, I'll free spool and then just go in and chase it. Some people try and haul it out, and I mean, I've lost fish doing both, but um, I tend to just free spool, and usually the fish is still hooked by the time you go in and try and unhook it. These sections of um, river where you've got oysters around all the pylons, it's just deadly. So you've only got a split second to make your decision, and it is hard to clip your bail if you're using a bait caster or flick your bail on an egg beater spinning outfit under a lot of pressure. So you've got to be ready to do that. There's just a couple of points on how I like to fish bridges. I hope it helps. Good luck getting them out.